everyone. Huh? Get it right? It's smiley. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to MTP. If you're here for the results, we don't want you here. We want you at the end, so you can just skip to the end. If not, we're going to start our mock tests, all tests are official tests. You know the drill. We're going to start this with a tell me question. Nothing too tough. Just a tell me question. Don't look too scared. <laughs> um, would you tell us about the power steering? How would you test to see if it's working? Yeah, when you turn on the engine, when you try to steer, yeah, the steering uh, has to be uh, light. It hasn't to be uh, like firm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, answer. but it has to be easy to steer. That's it. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you very much. Right, what we're going to do is going to exit the car park. So when you're ready, we'll just turn to the right and I'll give us the directions just for the start of the test. Okay. Okay, and wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Along the way, we'll just be pointing out nice little bits that happen, some nice little driving tips. But like I said, if you want the results, they will be at the end. Okay. Drive on when you're ready. And then just turning left here for me, please. Okay, two roundabouts, both roundabouts turning left, please. And we can take the next road on the right, please. Just to take the next road on the left, please. I'd like 
make us to pull up on the left, just by the lamp post, please, on the left, the metal the pole. Post. Yeah, oh, the okay. one with the meerkats. Yeah. Right, fantastic. What we're going to do is the manoeuvre. So I'm going to ask you to use this vehicle in front. So take your time, if it's safe, I'd like to move out and stop parallel with the vehicle in front and then reverse park. Don't worry about the driveway on this occasion, so you can stop in front of the driveway. Just finish a reasonable distance on the curb and park within two car lengths. Okay. All right, take your yeah. time, when you're ready, drive on. Just because this vehicle is here, yeah. let's uh, go around the corner. So if you just drive on for me, please, just so that we don't keep them waiting too long. We'll try one more around the corner. So just follow the road for me, please. We're going to go all the way around to the other side. This is one of the roads the examiners might ask you to use to do the manoeuvres. This road? Yeah, so we're here at Pinna Test Centre and this road is really close to the test centre. This is Raisins Hill. They do emergency stops on this road, parking and pulling up on the right. Position here seems to be closer to the right than to the left. Just take care because there may be oncoming yeah, traffic. Oncoming traffic. See the black minivan? After this one, yeah? Correct, yeah. If you just pull up alongside this little minivan, and then I'd like you to reverse park. This one just or this the black other one? black one here. Yeah. <clears throat> and just show a left signal, just so that the vehicles know we're just going to stop next to this. Yeah. Yeah, and just pull up here. That's lovely. Okay, take your time when you're ready and it's safe. I'd like you to reverse park, please. They'll be fine. It's just another learner. I think they're going to practice parking as well, probably. Okay? Yeah. All right, so just take your time. When you're ready, we'll give it another go.
Much better start position, by the way, the distance that you are from the vehicle. Yeah. It's very helpful. Very good with your observations, well done. Done. Yeah, just park the car then. Lovely. Thank you. Like a professional now. <laughs> I can see you looking for your reference points with yeah. your lines. Two different colours. Mm -hmm. Want them to be in the same position, which is yeah. on the edge of the pavement. So lovely. Let's see if the sat nav decides to work for us this time. Mm -hmm. A little bit of luck. Yay! We're all set and ready to go. So we just got 25 minutes oh, right. of independent driving. And then we're finished. It'll take you all the way back to the test centre. So just a little loop, a little route now. You will arrive okay. at your destination at Good luck. Take your time, drive on, and follow the sat nav, please. Okay. Thank you. At the end of the road, turn left, Chamberlain Way, then turn left. Turn left, then Turn left. Turn left, Catlin's Lane. Very good before your mirror checks. <clears throat> signal good yeah. following the yellow lines you see that yep so that's a nice left turn so try to continue to do that with your left turns you follow that curve follow the yellow lines okay. so the examines quite commonly ask us to pull over and stop somewhere here so i'd like you to pull up in a convenient place on the left please Lovely. 
Thank you very much. Uh, if you're in a manual car, this is obviously a little bit trickier. So you'd have to do an uphill start in a manual car. It's a little bit tricky, okay? Yeah. All right, well, whenever you're ready and it's safe, drive on and just continue to follow this up. Right? When it's safe, I'd like you to show us how we would turn on the dipped beam headlights. After 200 yards, turn right, B466. High Road East Coat. Turn right. That's the main beam. Which beam did you say? Dipped. Oh, dipped. I will show you later. You need to wait. I need to concentrate first. No problem. Notice the van behind us is starting to slow down. So if we're joining a new road and there's traffic, yeah. either speed up so that they don't have to slow yeah. down or wait longer until it's safe to drive out. But if we are like within After our, 300 yards, they can cross the roundabout and want. take the first exit, B466, yeah. now, high if road we're east not coat. There, do they need to overtake? No. So would we affect them if we move out and they have to overtake? It's about affecting traffic, causing the traffic yeah. to do something. Okay. Yeah. Right, two roundabouts, left, left, east coat. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit. Roundabout and take the first exit, Field End Road. So I'm going to follow the curve. Can you see how we're going away from the pavement and we're going into yeah. this line? Yeah, so but we're... we are still on the line. Yes, you are. It's good. They yeah. See that large vehicles next to us? Yeah. Sometimes they might go over that line because they're a large yeah. vehicle. Yeah. So even if we get close to the line, it can still be quite dangerous. Yeah. 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 So there's no driver for it, I'm not going to mark it down, but I'm just trying to highlight these left turns. I thought you were about to take a pen. No. Uh, just highlighting the left turns, just trying to help you with the future yes. left turns. Yeah. yeah. Just trying yeah. to follow those lines, yeah. keep it nice and tight. After 200 yards, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, Bridal Road, then turn right. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, then turn right. Okay, see the left in the position? Yeah. Yes, got to keep, keep it tight. Drifting out. <clears throat> it's just for the left hands, that's all. Okay. Yeah. yeah. After 200 yards, turn right the chase, then, at the end of the road, turn left.
Turn right, then, at the end of the road, turn left. Notice there's a box junction in the middle of the road. Yeah. Why is the box junction yeah, there? Yeah, wait there. Correct. When you are turning. So if we stop in the left lane. Yeah, the gonna... car want to go. Yeah, you want, see that. Yeah, want to go where they are going. Yeah. Yeah, we will we'll be like, we um, are... Turn left, the chase. I'd like to do is find a convenient place to pull up on the left, please. Trees are usually good convenient places and yeah, lampposts. Yeah, like yeah, so if you look down the road, can you see if there's any trees down yeah. the road? Okay. And then hopefully, maybe by one of the trees, we can see that yeah. there's no parked vehicle. Yeah. It could be an excellent driver tip just to find a nice, con you know, convenient place in the distance. Yeah. Uh, trees and lampposts. happy no no the distance mm. yeah. okay well, let's secure the vehicle mm. what we're going to do next is we're going to jazz up this uh driving test with an emergency stop so when it's safe to do so I'd like mm. to drive on if it's appropriate i'm going to put my hand up and say stop and i'd like you to do your emergency stop just like you've been practicing with your crazy driving instructor Take your time. When you're ready, drive on and wait for my signal. Thank you. Why are we driving so slow? <laughs> Come on. Yeah, no, let's go. Baby, this is so <laughs> you got to go faster than this. <laughs> There's a car coming. Mm. Alright, we'll let you off now. Yeah. I better stop here. Look at these cars. At the end of the road, turn left, Rushing Road. Then, at the end of the road, turn right. Okay, so I'm not going to ask you to do that at the moment, just drive as normal. We'll see if we can get another road a little later and we'll try that again. So if you just follow the sat nav again for me, please. Turn right, Bridal Road. Vehicles having to slow down for us. No. 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 Okay. They are just maintaining their speed. Then how did they get so close to us? Is it because I went? I went through the road. Is this the question? Something to consider for the driving test. Yeah. So. Looking back at that situation at Junction, like if we were the red van coming yeah. out, would you have walked out if no, you saw this? No, no, not that, that near, no, not that All right. close. Now if we cause the vehicles to slow down at all, yeah. is that a serious driver fault? Minor. No, a serious. Is it? It is. Why? <laughs> <laughs> we 
we might want to get to that part then. <laughs> so, if a vehicle drives out in front of us oh, from yeah. the side road oh, and we have to slow down, yeah. well, not an emergency, but say we have to slow down a little bit, yeah. why is that a big deal? Yeah, so if we're not focusing, we're not paying yeah. attention, and we don't slow down a little bit, yeah. we might end up having an accident. Yeah. Okay, so we're just trying to avoid that situation. Yeah. I can hear the comment section now. <laughs> After 200 yards, go right on the roundabout. This guy's got a tone problem, he's too sarcastic, he's so passive aggressive. <laughs> wow! Um, how, how to was those it aggressive? People, I say, uh. <laughs> <laughs> How was it aggressive? Go right on the roundabout and take the second exit. Ah, this end, you can't really see. Yeah, so this ah. is a uh, creepy crawly yes. roundabout. Yeah, I have to so move forward. We do until we can see. Yeah. And then once we see, we yeah. can decide whether it's safe to continue. Yeah. And there you go. Creepy crawly roundabout. Change your name. After 200 yards, mm -hmm. cross the roundabout and take anymore. the first exit, Marsh Road. <laughs> we'll leave that to everybody's imagination. Okay, we'll just continue to follow the same path. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit. That's what we want to see, yeah? So it's easy to see it's safe to go and we just that's it yeah doing 21 it's a 30 road see if we can get to 25 yeah obviously when you get to bends if they're sharp enough yeah, we'd slow down. down but now you can go back on the gas get yeah, up to 25 yeah. again yeah after this and then when we get here where the bend starts yeah, maybe we slow down again but you see these bits in between yeah tight bit coming up so we'll swap our foot to the brake start using the brake yeah. and then when it opens up again swap our foot to the accelerator start using the accelerator again yeah try to be out you see the van behind you yeah you see the position of the van yeah see how it's out yeah so to see more be out more. Yeah. Otherwise, we can't see. We're hiding can't behind the, the bus. Yeah, so like the van it's behind. It's like you are all parking. Yeah. And be misread, uh, misread by other yeah. roads. They might think you're going to park and then try to overtake. Happens a lot. So, one of my students, the uh, lady that passed yesterday. Yards, yeah. Sharp left, A404, George the Fifth Avenue. She said two thirds. I don't know if that makes any sense, but two yeah, two thirds of the car out, and I said to her, "No, a hundred percent, all the car out. I'm going to be out as much as possible." Yeah. Sharp left. So the traffic lights turning left. I'm not coming closer. Have a look at the van's too. position. Have a look at the left mirror. Yeah. Lovely. And then have a look at the road marking that's very faint in the centre of the road. Yeah. So we don't want to hit the pavement. Yeah. We're we'll, we'll getting very close to the pavement yeah. now. But we don't want to be in the middle either. We want to give that lane space. You see the lane on the right? Yeah. So you've got to be positioned like the van. Okay. Good. Any signal? Yes. So you've got to be careful about that. We got one minor early on our other mock test about the signal. You did yeah. put it on, but it turns off. Okay, so just making sure we turn it back on. Mm. 
Okay, so all I'm pointing out on this mock driving test, okay, yeah. obviously I'm guiding you a certain amount yeah, now, which is bad, it. okay? But it's the left turns I'm trying to help us with, that positioning closer to the pavement, staying close to the pavement and taking our nice left turn. Yeah. That's the only bit I'm trying to guide us with and help us with, okay? Yeah. And that's what you'd like to focus on, all right? Yeah. That's a speed change to 40. Yeah. So before the 40 sign, it, it was 30. So what do you reckon about that road? Any driver thoughts? Yeah. Yeah? After 300 yards, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, A404 Duxbridge Road. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. left turn very nice well done did you notice how yeah. you followed those yellow lines yeah good job we're fine after 300 yards now, turn okay? right yeah. woodhall gate it's nice to see all the progress they have made so it won't be this first right as you can see there's a no right turn sign at this right turn yeah. it's just the one after so it'll be this next road on the right there's one of those box junctions turn again. right just wait until we get to our section then move in to yeah. the box junction try to use the box junction fully because we yeah. do have a vehicle in the left you see that van yeah so we want to use this junction fully be right okay. in the middle to allow the traffic to pass safely okay. After 200 okay, yards, just you to turn, turn right, left here actually, for me, please. Yeah. yeah, just turn left here. And then what I'd like to do is just try and pull up on the left by the leaves here on the on the side, on the left side. Thank you. All right, so that'll be the end of the independent drive. We're just gonna finish this party off with a bang. And we're going to try our emergency stop. When you're ready and it's safe, I'd like us to drive on and just wait for my signal. We'll do the emergency stop, yeah? Okay. Okay, take your time. When you're ready and it's safe, drive on.
Ja. Ups. Så er det jo ved It is so scary. Oh my goodness. It's an emergency, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Now, <clears throat> having a look at the left mirror. Yeah. What can we see? On the left mirror? Yeah. So here's the left mirror. Yeah. Yeah. What we can are. We see? Yeah. We are not close. We are not much close to the. A little bit far, aren't we? Yeah. Okay. A little bit far. All right. What we'll yeah. do is just switch the engine off for me. Yeah, so okay. if you just want to unplug. Yeah. This will be the end of our second mock test <laughs> of the day. Okay. Yeah. We do have a few more on the channel, and yeah. as we all know, chat have cast their verdict. Eighty yeah. percent of chat have said, "Drum roll, please." Congratulations, you've passed. Now the tradition is, so yeah. we've got Judge June examiners here, yeah. their verdict is final. However, we'd like to ask your opinion. So what do you reckon? Pass? Fail? It was good. Yeah? Yeah. Compared, uh, the first one, it was good, but at the end. At the end. Yes. Yeah, but here, it was good. There was no, that I think I can say that, oh, I did this to this one. Okay. All right, yeah. yeah, I would agree with you. So yeah. I didn't need to use the dual controls, did yeah, I? As no. opposed to the last test no. where I did. And that would usually signify an immediate fail if yeah. the examiner needs to use the yeah. dual controls. So no dual controls on this one. Um, we did have the George V Avenue. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. Yeah, where about? George V Avenue? Yeah, what You know happened? George V Avenue? Yes. What Remember happened? the 40 mile an hour sign? Oh, yeah. Tell me more. Yeah. yeah. I went over. <laughs> ah! <laughs> um, just a little bit over, right? Yeah, just a little <laughs> bit. It wasn't... It, it wasn't... Yeah, oh, right, it wasn't yeah. so much. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but okay. I, I put it back. If you were the examiner... Realized, yes. What would you say? Pass or fail? So just imagine your your um, own examiner now. I You've got say, a twin sister. Yeah, I would say pass because I saw when it was over... I put it back. Good. So you got yes. good. If reference. I stay, yeah. If yeah. I stayed, yeah. If the student stayed on that, ah, yeah. fail. Okay. Yeah, but because after realizing within a second, we bring bring it down. Good. So yeah, yes. what the examiners call that is a reasonable distance. Yes, reasonable. Okay. Yeah. So all right. So if you realize quickly, you yeah. bring the speed I down. Not too bad. bad. You yeah. react quickly and yeah. don't go. 37 miles an hour in a 30 in road a for a reasonable no. distance. Yeah. But what if we do do 37 on a 30 road? Would that be a serious? Would yeah, we pass the student it's, if it's, they did 37 on a 30 road? Yeah, it's serious. It's serious. Yeah, but if it but if he, if it went that far and they put it down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's okay. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. So what's the speed limit? 30. And what speed were the student doing? 30 something. Mm, yeah. So, legally, yeah. not in Smiley's world, but in the real world, yeah. <laughs> um, would that be a fail? Uh, I don't know. Okay. All right. I think we're just going to have to answer this one for you. It would be a fail. Okay? It would be a fail. The okay. guidance, which yeah. is not written down anywhere for a driving yeah. test, okay? Yeah. So, please don't quote me, people. This is not legal. Yeah. 10% of the speed limit yeah. plus 2. So that'd be 35. 32. Up to 32. So 10% yeah. of 30 because it was a 30 road. 33. Yeah. 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 So we're just passing 3, which is 10% of 30. Yeah. And then plus 2, an extra 2. So then that's 35. 35. And we did 37. So it's beyond that 10% yeah. plus 2 limit. Which yeah. constitutes a serious yeah. violation. Yeah. Right. So, unfortunately, for that reason, I'd have to say <laughs> we haven't been successful on this mock <laughs> test. There was one other serious driver fault. Yeah. 
Okay, there was yeah. two more, but I've marked them down as minors. We'll come back to that in a sec. Yeah. So there was a right turn that we did. Very, very faint box junction in the middle of the road. So you remember the last one we had? The right turn that we did oh, just yes. now? Yeah. Nice, wasn't it? The, the bright lines, yeah. nice big right only arrow. You can see that's definitely for us. There was another one which was very faint. Oh, yeah, but I try to that position one. in the middle if we're turning right. Yeah. You know, there's that area that's safe for us. We want to move into that box junction. Stop in the junction, stop in the box. And if it's safe, then we can turn right. So mm. we'd stop for the oncoming traffic, wait for them. And then if it's safe and there's no traffic, then we turn right. Yeah. Okay, so um, we had that junction there where we stopped in the middle of the lane, the left lane. There was a, like a gold car. It wasn't a gold Lamborghini, but it was a goldish <laughs> colored car behind us. And we've caused that vehicle to slow down and stop. Oops. Okay. Yeah. Handbrakes are very good for uphills. So you know how to use the handbrake? Yeah. 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 There you go. So yeah. let's apply it. Just pull it up. There you go. Just gives you that added security yeah. for the hill. Okay. Yeah. Park's good. It will keep us safe as well, but the handbrake's just a little bit stronger for the hills. Okay. Yeah. Um, now, the two minor faults, we've got two categories where we get two of the same marking. So, one is this one where we're positioned to stop for the left side. We are stopping a little bit far away from the pavement, just so that you can see. Yeah. It's about a metre yeah. or so, isn't it? Yeah. So, it's quite far. That could be a serious driver fault. Mm. All right, and then it happened another time a bit earlier as well. So just trying to use the cheat code. Yeah. Yeah, before we pull in, looking mm. at the reference points and just guiding that to the pavement, and we can stop a reasonable distance from the curb. The second two minor faults in the same category is for our observations at the junctions. Make the observations, make sure you'd say you would walk out into the road. We're driving out into the road where there's vehicles coming. And we're causing them to slow down. That's a serious. I've marked it down as minor. However, I have seen a lot of people fail at pinner mm. for turning out onto the main road. Yeah. And the car that's coming has had to slow down for them as they've turned out onto the main road. So the three S's. Why? Why is that? That's what we were trying to work out when we were driving. Yeah. yeah. So let's reverse the roles now. Mm. So we're going to just... Do a little role play, okay? Yeah. So imagine you're on your driving test. Mm -hmm. You're driving down the main road, and I'm on uh, my way to see another student. You don't know me. I'm just some random driving instructor. Mm -hmm. Now, I see you coming, and I drive out in front of you, and you have to slow down for me. Oh, yeah. What's your interpretation of my driving? Good? Bad? Has it affected you in any way? It has affected me to maybe break or... Yeah? Yeah. So would that be a serious fault for my driving yeah. affecting you? Yes. If I was on a driving yeah. test? Right. Would the examiner pass me or fail me if I did it that to another? You. May do. I'm not mm. saying set in stone. Okay. Mm. So there's two options. One, hit that gas pedal like a bat out of hell and fly down the main road in your gold Lamborghini. Yeah? Yeah. Option two <laughs> might be a bit safer. When right? turning on the, on the roundabout? No, just T-junction. Side oh, road coming onto the main road. Ah, okay. Okay. Um, but the other option is ask yeah. yourself, would I walk out? Imagine you're there with a young relative. If you don't have young relatives, imagine you have to, a school, I don't know, a couple of school kids to the other side of the road. Yeah. Mm. So you're looking, you're making that assessment. All right, you know what, kids? We can cross the road now. Let's go. That's when we want to drive out. So I don't know if that's helpful. Mm. Remember, I've got a tone problem. I can hear it. Don't worry. I'm tuning into it. I'm watching body language. I'm trying to pick up on the signs. Um, but what I'm trying to do, so ignore the tone. I apologize for that. It's just trying to give us that walkout rule, just establish it, really cement it in, because it's a foundation. It's one of the areas of my own driving that I really struggled with understanding. Every time I got to a junction on a mock test, at the end they'd say I failed. And I'd say, why? <laughs> oh, you took too long. You waited too yeah. long to go. All right, whatever. Next mock test, you know, at junction, you failed. Why? You drove out, it wasn't safe, there was cars coming, you caused them to slow down. So now I'm really frustrated. One, I wait too long, two, I go when it's not safe. What do I do? 
Lawrence, God bless his soul, the only good driving instructor I had, and I had about 20. Lawrence was the only good one. He just looked at me and said, Scott, would you walk out? Light bulb went off and my problems were solved. So simple. Doesn't seem to be the case. I don't see any light bulb going off on <laughs> your side of the car right now. I see complete confusion. <laughs> Would that be a fair statement? Are you confused when to drive out at junctions or have you got the remedy and you know when to drive confused, out? Indeed. You're confused. Okay, yeah, so help me again. now. What's the confusion? Where what are we failing to about, understand? About to walk out. Would you walk okay. out or can you repeat? Yeah. Moment? So let me draw a picture real quick. So imagine this white bit of paper here. Yeah. Is uh, a road. And we're standing here on this side of the road. Yeah. And let's say, I don't know, our house is over here and we want to go home. Yep. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So when we're standing at the edge of the pavement, just show chat and the cameras, so when we're standing here at the edge of the pavement mm -hmm. and we're thinking about walking across to go home, would you walk out? Are there any cars coming when you're looking? If there is no car coming, you you will go. Yeah. If there is none. Yeah. 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 You will go. And if there are cars coming? Oh, you wait. Yeah. Yeah. So now when you're driving the car... Yeah. And you're actually here because there's a little road here. So yeah. now I'm going to put you in the car. Yeah, so a little rectangle with a little person inside it. So mm. you're just putting you in the car. Yeah. Yeah. Same same principle mm. as if we were on the pavement. I don't know where I'm pointing, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now, would you walk out? If there's no car, yes. All right. That's yeah. when we drive out. Yeah. What about if you see cars coming? No, you wait. There you go. So does that yeah. help the confusion? Yeah. Yeah. You got it? I can see yeah. a light bulb. It's not on a switch, it's on a dimmer. <laughs> Slightly getting brighter. Yeah. Yeah? yeah? Mm -hmm. Does that help? Yeah, against... it does. Yeah. What just happened to my phone? Did it turn off? Anyways. Um, so, yeah. So, that's the walkout rule. That was weird. Yeah, but if, if the car is, is a, a bit distance you know that the time you go they're still gonna they're still far they're far yeah are they fast no far far Just away far. yeah are they slow yeah would you walk out if they're slow yes okay then you drive yeah. out if they're fast yeah no you wait you still wait if you're yeah. not sure what about a maybe maybe you wait yeah, because you're not sure. And on that bombshell, it's uh, time for me to say thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I've been Scott. This has been Smiley. Or not Smiley. You got, you got it right. If you don't see me for a while, then... Um, Smiley's probably unalived me, so please reach <laughs> out, um, call the authorities <laughs> and see if I'm all right. Until then, stay safe. I'll try to stay safe too, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.